Now that I've been able to drop a Big Nick video, much requested, finally, after so long of not having a computer, I thought it would be a good idea to thank all of you who donated, because wow, I was not expecting that. I was expecting to kind of be in debt up to my eyeballs for a while, trying to repay said computer that we ordered, but then all of you came through for us in a big way, and we collected over a thousand pounds, which was more than enough to pay for the computer, and... It's just really nice, and I'm very appreciative of it, so I thank you all very much for that, very sincerely, and I hope now that I have a proper computer, I can do videos more often, as I was planning to before the last one died, and we can all have a good old happy time making fun of morons, like we've been doing for quite a while here, but maybe in different ways, because a lot has changed, and obviously in life a lot does change, uh... You know, the last video was really fun because I pretended to be a Big Nick type of person a little bit there. I pretended to be like him, you know, going along with the joke, as it were. But after a point, it just becomes like, well, Jesus Christ, I can't really do that. I'm no Stephen Colbert. That stuff is hard. But that's neither here nor there, which I think is going to be my new catchphrase now. So we do have some other things to talk about. I have some updates for you, some minor ones, some major ones, some updates all over the place. So I'm going to do a cut here in a second, and we're going to move on to talking about the other things that are kind of, I guess, maybe important and maybe not. I don't know. I'll leave that call up to you. Naturally, I think the first thing we have to talk about is videos, the reason why you're all here. I love doing Big Nick videos, but my god, it's the same thing over and over with this guy. It's the same detachment from reality, the same false modesty and humbleness, the same sense of self-importance, the same thing over and over. So yes, I will continue to cover Big Nick because... It can be quite fun. I, I mean, certain levels of delusion are indeed quite entertaining to deal with, but he's not the only delusional person out there, and I would like to find more of them. So let's talk about some of the videos that I want to do going forward and hope that it works out. Now, the first one that we need to talk about, because it's been on the agenda for, what, like five months now, is the Planet X video. That video, it seems like every time I try to make it, something goes terribly wrong. It's like the cursed video. So this time, I'm going to try to make it once more and hope that the curse just fades away. The curse goes away and I can successfully make the Planet X video. Uh, but that won't be like the next one. That's, that's not going to be a thing for a while probably because I'd like to get back into the groove and, and doing more of the videos like we used to do together as a family, you and I. Um, no cult stuff here, don't worry. Just parasocial relationships, it's fine. Anyway, so some other videos I want to do, I've mentioned facilitated communication, which is a discredited, debunked form of communication that people do on unwitting and probably unwilling uh, people who have severe deficiencies in their ability to communicate or even think. It's a real scam, complete charlatan nonsense, and somehow the University of Syracuse, I believe, don't sue me if I'm wrong on that, has a whole, like, sector devoted to it. It's been disproven time and time again. I've got two different videos I want to do about that subject. One concerns a specific person, and one concerns the practice in general. That's just a couple of things. Another thing I'd like to do is, after I made the alcoholism video, I got a response from our good friend Jethro Bodine. If you don't remember him, just go to my page, search him up, you'll remember very quickly. He's the guy with the weird wooden background, and who talks very oddly with, like, his tongue doing odd things tongues don't normally do when you talk. Um, very southern guy, thus the name Jethro Bodine. He did a response. Now, the thing is, when you're responding to somebody who is essentially admitting to being an alcoholic, that's a touchy subject, I think. that That's a very touchy subject. But his response, I believe, came from a good place, which is why... I'm not really going to, like, give it to him like I would somebody else. Like, if Big Nick were to respond to that video, you can guarantee it would be the most classless thing you have ever heard in your life. Jethro Bodine at least tried to make it classy. It seemed like he genuinely cared. But, of course, he is a fundamentalist Christian, and the brain rot of that whole thing does kind of get to people in, in weird ways. So we're going to have to talk about that. I'm going to have to make a response video to that video, and... 
talk about what I think he did right, what I think is good for how people talk about alcoholism, alcoholics, drug addiction, so on and so forth, and what I think he did terribly wrong, which is a number of things, at least in my case. Now, for somebody else, it may have worked fine, but the way he did it for me did not work. It did not work at all, and frankly, I think he kind of messed up there because he seemed to be assuming that I was not going to be able to get sober without Jesus, which I have since proven very wrong. What, what day is today? Today's the 21st, uh, as I'm recording this. Today's the 21st, which means I have been without alcohol for about three weeks, a bit over three weeks, and uh, doing fine. I, in fact, I've been exposed to it numerous times and haven't even thought about it. Um, I also quit smoking cigarettes, and now I switch to, you know, vapes, like every other vaping degenerate. Remember when this stuff used to be uncool until all those advertising companies made it cool? Yeah, that was certainly a time, huh? So that's the video stuff that I've got in mind. I've got a couple more ideas, but they're just in, like, the formative stage right now. So we're gonna have to... we're gonna have to wait a while on those. I'm just gonna work on what I can right now, see what I can get out there and hopefully it'll be good and fun and enjoyable for the whole family. Or not the whole family, depending on the makeup of your family. I know it won't be very fun for my family. And the last thing I want to cover is some other updates to the channel and the future of the channel, because as you may have noticed, I haven't done lives in a long time. I might like to start doing that again, but first I feel like I have to get into the groove of just making videos again, so... I probably will do some live stuff. I've been reaching out about people I could interview, very interesting, fantastic people who do great work. I think the most interesting one is John Delancey of Star Trek. He plays Q, one of my favorite characters of all time. Reached out to him to see if he would do something. We'll see. I hope he does. He's He did some things with some uh, skeptical groups before, so we know he's into it, and he's very into it indeed. And it's it, it can be quite cringy, which I like. I like that about people. I like when you're willing to just go all in and just be yourself and do what you do, even if people think, wow, that's cringy. Because, geez, look what I do day in and day out with this stuff. I'm sure the average Zoomer watching this, young Zoomer especially, would be like, wow, you're cringe, dude. And that's fine. I guess we all are sometimes. It just so happens that mine is posted on the internet for all eternity. So great. But uh, in terms of channel updates, here's a couple updates for you. Uh, since I am active again, uh, the value of memberships has gone up. So if you join my YouTube membership thing, um, it's like three bucks a month, and you get access to videos that I post before they come out, which is kind of cool. Um, currently, I don't have a Discord because on the last Discord, there was some drama. So I decided I don't need this in my life right now and got rid of it. But there will be another one coming, and I'd assume I'll still be hands-on with it because I'm like that. Can't help it, just how I am. So I'm going to be starting a new Discord at some point if you would like to help out with that, if you know anything about running a Discord, because I sure don't. Feel free to mention it in the comments below or contact me somewhere else. Um, I'm also going to be opening a Patreon soon. I've been working on it a little bit. It'll also be $3, so take your pick. YouTube, Patreon. Patreon's probably the better deal. Probably more unique content for people who want it. Stuff like that. Um, I've also started writing. I don't know if anybody cares about that. You're here for videos about crazy creationists, and I understand. So you don't have to care about my writing. It just so happens that sometimes my writing tends to go along with that sort of subject. Like... I've done a couple of articles so far. They're available for free on my Substack, which I will be posting down below somewhere, down down here, in, on on the floor. I'll be posting it on the floor, and and my wife thought that was really funny. So I'm going to be posting that down there, and there are two articles currently. One of them is about how Facebook sucks and is going to be, at some point or another, non-functional because there's no way it can continue to work as it does, and it's probably going to take Instagram with it. And that's one article. Another one is about uh, reality testing, you know, how to know that you're living in the real world because at a time like this when misinformation and disinformation runs rampant, you know... I found out recently that that a lie can make it very far before I even hear of the lie. For example, I heard about this thing that I didn't know I was hearing about. It, it was very obscure at first. I heard some creationists and Christians talking about, they were saying stuff like, 
oh, did you know it's actually been scientifically proven that Noah's Ark existed and the global flood happened? And that was very curious to me because, well, no, I haven't heard that. I'm very in tune with science. It seems like I would have heard of something like that. So very curious indeed. And then some weeks later, I found out there's a new documentary called The Ark in the Darkness, which is apparently very not good. It's made up of the same old creationist stuff. It's not scientific at all, as is to be expected, but it took a good while for me to actually find out what they were talking about. I had assumed it was just like standard fare. Maybe they'd been to the Creation Museum or the Ark Encounter recently, and they just thought, well, that proves it. By God, I guess that's it then. Them scientists, they're just giving up now. But no, science is still science, and charlatans are still charlatans, so I guess we'll be checking out the Ark in the Darkness. Emma Thorne just did a video on that, so I guess I gotta wait a few days now. But I've got it downloaded, so it'll be interesting. And it just amazes me, though, how fast a single lie can make it around the world before somebody like me, who's very in tune with this kind of thing, even notices it's happened. I mean, this happens so often, it's ridiculous. And, I, you know, I'm very tuned into all kinds of crazy communities. Like, I follow the QAnon people almost religiously. I could make a religion out of how closely I follow these QAnon weirdos. But then again, that's kind of what they do. So, regardless, let's just... We're, we're getting away from the point. The point, the point, if there is a point, is just that we have a lot of work to do on this channel, and I intend to get fully back into the work, and thanks to your support recently, I am going to be able to do that. So, thank you very much for all your support. And, by the way, if you donated to my computer fund... You will never have to donate to access the Discord. Just uh, leave your information. Not on this video. I'm probably going to do a video announcing the Discord when it's done. Um, so leave it there. But if you donated uh, to help me get a new computer, uh, you never have to get anything from me again. Forget subscriptions. You don't have to do it. I'll let you in for free. You can enjoy all the subscriber benefits because you already did something really cool for me, so now I get to do something really cool for you. And uh, I know this has been a long, arduous, non-entertaining update. I thank you for listening along. I'm sure I've missed out on a few things, which is tradition, but hopefully you learned a lot here. We're, I don't know. I don't know if you wanted to learn a lot here, but if you did want to learn a lot here, I hope you did. But the key point, if there is one, I'm back, baby. <laughs>